Right, so, hey guys, it's a video that I've made of my new Juliet locomotive, which should start a new series of me building it and doing whatnot. So let's have a look about what I've got. So first we have some plans. These are good ones, it's outside valve gear for the Juliet, so you can't see much of those. And then I've got some tatty ones up here and a book. With yeah, it's, it's a bit tatty. I'm mainly going to read the plans. But structure wise, what I do have. We have the frame. Not sure if you guys can see it that well. It's for the frame, there's the axle box holes where the cylinders go, I'm pretty sure. If anyone has any clarification, please let me know in the comments. So there's the underside. It's very nice. And this is one of the main things why I got this. I was got I got given it for trade of the paddle boat motor that you saw in the last video. But one of the good things about this was it did come with a boiler. I'm pretty sure this is copper. I'm not too sure. It doesn't look like copper actually. I don't know, I need to get it hydro tested. There are the flues, firebox, firebox door, and inside. So I think the boiler is actually a bit larger than the standard Juliet. To be a little bit. And here are some superheater flues. I didn't make these, that's how it came. I just got this yesterday, so. When I record this, out there for some space. Next to it. Right. So here are some of the parts. Here's smoke box. It's really rusty. All the brake shoes, not shoes, the um, actual things that go on the wheel. I, I've got the terminals here, what they're called, so yep, there those are. Then we had the four driving wheels needing to be, these need to be machined on the lathe, so yep. Pretty self-explanatory, but some of these, like that one, that one has a lot of blowholes in it. If the camera would focus. Ah well. Uh. You can probably just see the blowholes, but yep, so that's what's in there. We have some other miscellaneous parts. I don't know what that is, but I think it's for the smoke box saddle. I wouldn't have a clue. Or for the ash pan. No, it's too small for that. We have one of the cylinders and steam chest. I need to get the other side of those. The other, other half. So, it's got the outside valve here, so it's a bit different. These need to be machined too, I'm pretty sure. Or at least the steam chest does. And we just have some patterns. Inside the firebox pad. Some support brackets for something. 
have a clue. A cylinder in kit. Might be a. I don't know what that is. Rod. A little bit of metal. And. A little whistle. So that's pretty good. Now we have the box of other bits. So in this yellow, just the camera a bit. In this yellow piece, we have what are those? I don't have a clue what those are. So if anyone knows what those are, please tell me in the comments. I am not too sure. And that could be the same thing. Pretty I'm pretty sure those are for the valve gear to adjust it. It's probably the pin that moves. And whatever that is, someone please tell me if you have any clarification what that is? I wouldn't have a clue. And in this little tin, we have pins and little chains. I'm sure if you can see those. The camera's not focusing. Here. Now I have the box of items. Right, I'm not going to take any of these out. So we have a completed axle box, complete with bearing. You gonna focus? Why is this not focusing? Well, is the completed one. The other four, I don't know why, axle boxes. I only have five in total. There's only three bearings, so yep. And there's all the rest of the parts in there, like the eccentrics, all the sheaves. One's machined, one isn't. There's a lot of screws. We have some fittings here. Camera's not focusing too well. Yep, so some fittings, bearings, screws. I think are some drop arms. Probably not. Uh, I don't know what any of these are, so. If you know, please write to me in the comments about what those are. I won't have a clue. There's more pins and piece of the valve gear. Yeah, it should be. It's all the most important things in there. So, that's my haul of the Juliet. Put this stuff away. And also, credit to one of my friends who helps me film. And, well, really just film and gives me a lot of company at the trains. His name is Max Donnelly. So please subscribe to his channel, that has the same name, and yeah, so thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.
Oh. 